Welcome to this Make a Medic tutorial on ECG leads. So we're mainly going to focus on how the ECG leads actually work and how they provide a view of the heart. So here are the three places in which the limb electrodes are placed. The right and left arm and the left leg. There's a fourth electrode that's placed on the right leg, but this is a grounding electrode that helps minimize ECG artifacts. Each electrode has a negative or positive status relative to the other electrodes. For example, lead 1 will be between the right arm and the left arm electrodes, where the right arm is considered the negative electrode and the left arm is considered the positive. Then we can see leads 2 and 3 being configured between the arm electrodes and the left leg electrode. There are two main factors that affect the direction of the deflections. First of all, it's the direction in which the impulse is moving. A wave of depolarization moving towards the sensor will cause an upwards deflection, whereas moving away from the sensor will cause a downwards deflection. Let's take the example shown on the screen right now. The black arrow represents a wave of depolarization and its general direction. As it's heading vaguely in the direction of lead 1, it will cause an upwards deflection in this lead. The wave is going almost exactly in the direction of lead 2, so it would cause an even bigger upwards deflection in lead 2. On the other hand, it's traveling almost perfectly perpendicular to lead 3, so it will, it will barely register any deflection at all. The second factor determining the direction of the deflection is whether the myocardium is being depolarized or repolarized. Depolarization towards the sensor causes an upwards deflection, whereas repolarization towards the sensor causes a downwards deflection. There are a couple more key points that are really important when interpreting and understanding ECGs. Firstly, the left side of the heart in the average healthy adult is bigger and thicker than the right. This means that there's more muscle to depolarize and hence it causes a bigger deflection than the right. The second point is that the specialized fibers of the conducting systems are located within the subendocardium in the innermost layers of the heart. This means that the heart depolarizes outwards from the subendocardium out towards the epicardium. The third point is that the last cells to depolarize are the first to repolarize. This is why the T wave is upright in left sided leads. The wave of repolarization goes inwards away from the epicardium and hence away from the left sided electrodes, which is why it causes a positive deflection. Though there are only three active limb electrodes, various formulae are applied by the machine to create three augmented leads. For example, AVR is generated by considering the right arm electrode as being positive and setting an imaginary negative electrode at the midpoint between the left arm and the left foot electrode. The chest leads view the heart in the horizontal plane. Each electrode is positive and the negative pole is generated by averaging out the inputs from the three active limb electrodes. This imaginary negative pole is located at the center of the heart. Thank you.